here a question is saying if x equals to r sine a times cos c and y equals to r sine a times sine c and z equals to r times cos c then prove that r square equals to x square plus sine square z square okay it's square of z it's z I'm sorry uh, you may not be understanding my handwriting I'm, I'm really sorry extremely sorry okay fine we need to prove r square equals to x square plus y square plus z square so here let me write x square plus y square plus z square right and uh, let me put the value of x square y square and z square what are the what is the value of x square that is r square sin square a times cos square c so it will be r square times sin square a times cos square and again plus y square so here y square will be r square times sin square a times sin square c and again plus z square that is uh, r square right r square times cos square a so now in next level we are getting everywhere r is common here is also common r here is also r common here is also r common so let me take out here first mm, r square common so i will get like uh, sin square a times cos square c plus sin square a times sin square c plus cos square a right so in the next level mm, yes we're getting same thing here cos square c and sin square c and uh, yes this will make something so and sin square a sin square a we are getting common yes so what we can do now let's take sin square a and sin square a common this part and this part let's take common so we'll be getting sin square a common and we'll be getting cos square c cos square c plus sin square c plus sin square c again plus this cos square a I'm sorry cos square a okay oh this is big bracket fine so what we get here r square in the bracket this is sin square a right times cos square c plus sin square c that's one again plus cos square a cos square a right let me write it once again properly this is now sin square a plus cos square a again we get the formula that sin square a plus cos square a is equals to 1 and this is r square so finally we get r square this is our uh, I can say this we take RHS this was our right hand side of the expression and this is now our left hand side so finally I can say this is proved right this is proved so simply it was not that much tough it was a simple question just put the value of x y and z and uh, take commons and use the identity that is mm, sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 this identity you have to use here and uh, you can easily solve this question I hope you understand this and you understand the techniques that uh, you can easily e use in other problems in the next video we'll be learning some new techniques new concepts okay so bye bye